Hey, in the last video we saw in theory about stateless drawables and in this video I'm going to show you how to customize a view component using a stateless drawable. And in this example you're going to create a favorite button which will appear like a star and when you click on it it will be filled with yellow and when you click on it back again it will turn to gray. So we'll be using a checkbox in this case and before we start adding a checkbox to this view I'm going to show you the images that we have already and here it's right on my desktop in this folder this is designed for the XSTPI devices and we have the unchecked state where the star you can see it right here it is unchecked and we also have a checked state so this is the state that will be displayed when the when the checkbox is checked and we also have other states which is checked and pressed which is when you press on the checkbox when it is already checked and we also have the unchecked pressed state which is you're pressing on the button or the checkbox which is the favorite button in this case when it is unchecked we also have the unchecked focused which is the least used state on devices without a trackpad or a directional pad and we also have the checked focused state in which you try to focus on a button that is already checked when I say button it actually represents the checkbox in this case so that's the idea let's go ahead and get started first I'm going to copy all these resources right click copy six items and let's go back to Eclipse and here inside the Robble HDPA folder I'm going to paste it right click and click on paste they have it so these are the images that we are going to use and uh, the star of this video is the checkbox so we are going to drag one inside the layout we have it here and the text property is irrelevant so let's go ahead and remove it it's gone the next thing to do is to create a stateless drop. Since a stateless drawable is an XML drawable, we're going to create a new folder under the resource folder which is going to be called as drawable. And let's click on finish. We have the drawable folder. Next I'm going to right click, go to new and from Android XML file, select type resource type as drawable and the project is the current project we're going to name this as favorite the name of our xml file is favorite.xml and let me select selector and click on finish now we have a beautiful xml file here let's go ahead and go to the reference and this is the nice place to start first we'll be focusing on the checked state you can see we have the checked state so let me go back and I'm going to create an item and the state is going to be checked and checked is true we have the checked state now let me go ahead and specify a drawable for this Android drawable and the drawable is going to be star checked right so we have the checked star and the next thing we are going to do is we are going to assign an other state for the unchecked drawable so checked is equal to false that is, e that is the unchecked state and for the star checked drawable we are going to replace it with the star unchecked drop save this let's go back to the favorite button and I am going to select this checkbox and we have a button property so this is the property that we're going to change I'm going to click on the ellipsis button and from the list of drawables select favorite click OK and we are done now we have two states for this drawable one is the checked state and the other one is the unchecked state let's go ahead and run this application run it switching to the emulator So here we have the emulator and let me click on this and when I release the button the state of the button changes and when I click it again back it's unselected or unchecked. 
So I'm really sorry that I'm using the term button here instead of a checkbox, but whenever I try to say, whenever I say button, I actually mean a checkbox in this case. So don't be confused. Let's go ahead and add a few more straights to this uh, example. Let's go back to the source and in the favorite XML, we have the checked state. And we also remember that we had other states, two of which were the pressed checked and the pressed unchecked state. So let's go ahead back to the document and here we have, we have the pressed state. The pressed state comes before the checked state. So we need to place this state above the two states which we have here already. Let me show you how that. Go to the source and here I'm going to create another item. See, you can see that I'm creating the item about the checked state because pressed comes before checked. And I'm going to create Android state pressed is true. And I'm also going to create, I'm also going to add another attribute that state that says Android state checked is equal to true. So this item actually represents the pressed and checked state. So we need a drawable here, which is going to be checked and pressed. So that is going to be star checked and pressed. We're going to create another state for the unchecked state, which is pressed is true and checked is false. So this item is for the unchecked and pressed state. We have a similar drawable for this, which can take care of it, and that is unchecked and pressed. So we have two more states. Let's go ahead and run this application. I'm going to switch to the emulator. And now we have the application. Let's go ahead and click on it. And this is the unchecked pressed state. This was not uh, available previously, or we did not mention it previously. That's why. We didn't see any change, but we have the checked and pressed state now. That is why you can see a different drawable that is being used for this state. And similarly, for the checked and pressed state, you can see we have a new state for this. And the next thing is we are going to add a state for the focused. To show that, I'm going to click on the directional keys here on the D-pad and you can see nothing happens. That's because we don't have a state for the checked focused and the unchecked focused states. So now we're going to do that. Before we do that, we're going to take a look at the document once again. And you can find that the focused comes after pressed. So we're going to define two new states after the existing two pressed states. Let's go ahead and here in the code, we have the pressed state and we also know focused comes after pressed. So we're going to do a focused so when it is focused and the Android state checked is true, we're going to use another drawable here, which is star checked focused. This will accurately represent the focused and checked state. We're going to create the another state for the focused and unchecked state in which we're going to specify false for the state unchecked. And here, instead of the checked, we're going to use unchecked. So we have two more new states, which is for the focused checked and the focused unchecked scenarios. Let's go ahead and run this once again. Switching to the emulator. And now we have uh, the program ready. Let me go ahead and click on the directional paths. Can you see that? When you click on any of the directional keys, you can see that the button is being focused. This is totally different from the pressed unchecked state. This is the focused unchecked state, which will happen when I try to use the directional pad. And there is also an unchecked pressed state, which when I click, gives a even bigger highlight over the button. So this is a different state compared to the focused state. I'm going to check it and I'm going to try to focus and there you go, you can see the difference. That's, that's the general idea about behind stateless drawables. So in this video I showed you how to use a stateless drawable 
And uh, always remember that the order of the states is very important. And the next thing I would like to stress is you can combine different states with one another. And these are the two, two essential points that I wanted to stress in this exercise. And this is how you customize views in Android, be it buttons or radio buttons or seek bars, progress bar. The idea is the same. You use different stateless troubles to customize different view components. And if you have any questions on this topic, please feel free to ask. Thank you.